playing over again. Great. Oh! <clears throat> Yo, it's me, it's me, it's the SEOTT, and before I begin, you may have noticed that I had not uploaded a Batman episode for today. Well, unfortunately, I had to go grocery shopping. And I had to do my dishes, and that took way too long for me to do, so I wasn't able to upload it. But I'll tell you what, tomorrow you're going to get two Batman episodes. That's right, I'm going to do two tomorrow, just because I want to relax after this, because I need to. Because I'm going to review to you the 2020 film Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, or... Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey, or what it should be called, Harley Quinn the movie and these other people who we don't really care about, but we're calling it Birds of Prey because the name is better. It gets the name out there. As you can tell, I'm not too impressed with this movie. I don't hate it. Far from it. But, it's not a Birds of Prey movie. It's a Harley Quinn movie masquerading it's a Birds of Prey movie, and I knew this from the minute I saw the trailer. I'm like, okay, Birds of Prey. Let's go back. Originally, after Suicide Squad, they wanted to have Harley Quinn have her own spinoff. And that was going to be Gotham City Sirens. And I really think they should have stuck to that instead of... Uh, instead of just shoving her into this movie. I'm sorry, but... For those people out there who wanted to see an actual Birds of Prey movie, they're going to be disappointed because that's not what this is. This is Harley Quinn in the movie with the characters from Birds of Prey, Birds of Prey sprinkled around in it. That's about it. In fact, they don't even officially form the Birds of Prey till the end of the movie. Oh yeah. And she's not even one of them. As much as the trailer showed that they had to work together and they were going to be a group. Nope. She's not actually one of the Birds of Prey, so it's pointless, really, to have her in here. It's following, it's her story, it's following her around. She narrates the whole thing, and it's just... Look, I'm disappointed, not really. I should say, am I disappointed? Not really, because this is what I expected. I expected it to be a Harley Quinn movie. You know, from the trailers, I knew what I was going to get. So if you saw the trailers and still thought you were getting a true Birds of Prey movie. <laughs> Look. First thing I want to say, first of all, is a positive thing. Margot Robbie, great. Fantastic as Harley Quinn. Can't deny that. She's one the best one of the best things besides Will Smith and Jai Courtney in the Suicide Squad. In Suicide Squad. She, her one of the three best things about that movie. But I think they should have stuck with Zog Gotham City Sirens and they could base it around her. When you want I bet you when they first started Working on a Birds of Prey movie, it wasn't going to be like this. They actually wanted to focus on the Birds of Prey, but because Margot Robbie said she wasn't going to do Sirens, and they figured, oh, we'll just shove her in here and make this her movie. Should have stuck with Sirens. Also, the characterization of some of these characters. I like what they did with the Huntress, how she's avenging her family. That's very good. Cassandra King, never heard of her before. She's a little bit like she's all right. The only two characters I did have problems with were Renee Montoya because, well, hers is not really a big problem for me. It's just that, okay, so the character of Renee Montoya is no stranger to being a lesbian. It's no secret her character was a lesbian in, or at least bisexual, in Gotham, on Gotham. Her character was she having an affair with uh, Commissioner uh, 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 Jim Gordon's girlfriend or fiance, whatever, and that was the thing. And on the show, it tells she was written off. She was written out of the show at the end of season one. Uh, but they, here they make her a lesbian again, saying that uh, she used to date the DA, who's also a female, of course. 
And it really doesn't do anything for the movie to just say, oh, but it's just like narrating and just by it's just, just saying, oh, by the way, she's a lesbian. Just throwing it out there. Nothing against it, but they just, it just seems like they made her a lesbian to put that in the film. Like, oh, she's a lesbian. But, I don't know. Uh, uh, and, so, Ewan McGregor went on record before this movie was released saying it, it is a feminist film. And it is a feminist film. Very much so. Because the main... <laughs> Renee Montoya's main storyline is that basically every time she does something within the police department, her partner, who's now the chief, takes credit for it. Oh, the man! Take your credit for whatever the women does. Ooh, fuck the men! Give me a break! Come on. They even do this. Okay. So... The whole story with Montoya is that she had a she she broke a big case when she was you know when when her and her partner were working together. But her partner, played by Stephen Williams, who's like thirty years older than she is, said uh, you know took credit for it. So now he's the chief, and also because now she and the DA aren't together anymore, the DA has a thing against her too. So every time she tries to do this case, she's brought down by the man. And even in the end, after this whole thing is done, and they, they do this thing, and they bring down the thugs and everything, Chief takes credit for it, and she quits. Now, if you took Harley Quinn out of this, and just based Montoya as the main character, you could have had her be an ex-cop looking... Working on the case, trying to get back at Black Mask because it's hooked up to something, and they could form the Birds of Prey to stop him. Doesn't that make less more sense? No, Harley Quinn has to be the main character because reasons. I just wrote you the first part of an actual Birds of Prey script. Renee Montoya is an ex cop who was let go from the police department after her partner took credit for everything, she had enough. She's on the track. She, she's tracking down uh, Black Mask, or whatever the hell his name is in this one. His real name is, I don't remember. Roman Sionis? Sionis, Sionis, whatever. Tracking him down. She's working with Canary, which is already happening. And along the way, they find the Huntress, who is tracking down and murdering. And this is actually in her actual film, too. She's murdering people involved with the parents' death. There's the connection. It leads them to Cassie Kane, who so happens to also live in the apartment that Dinah lives in. You know, Canary. And it works. It works without Harley Quinn. You didn't need to have Harley Quinn in this movie. You could have done it without her. But no, you were afraid it wouldn't get enough coverage if Harley Quinn's name and face wasn't plastered all over it. I just gave you a great starting point for an actual Birds of Prey movie. It could have worked. But, nope. I've seen enough superhero TV shows and, and stuff to know how to start a TV show or a movie. And that would have worked. But you have to have Harley Quinn as your main character. And that kind of takes away from the actual story. As And getting back to the actual film, she starts off narrating a story, but has to go to flashbacks to explain each and every other character. And it confuses you when you try to figure out where in the story she is, when she's... The quickest story she tells is Helena's, because it's quicker, but, like, she has to tell us about uh, Canary. She has to tell us about Montoya. Her story with the Joker, which, by the way, they only show the Joker from behind, because no Jared Leto. Um, and, yeah, and Cassie's story, which we already know, because we're shown at the beginning. It's just... So, and Rome and Black Mask's story... And, you know, all the flashbacks it really kind of just makes you try to figure out where you are in the movie at the point. She keeps flashing back. Wait, what, what point are we in? You know, one thing I say about Arrow is that their flashbacks worked because there was a different kind of filming tone. You know, it was a different kind of, you know, flashbacks. It was just, and they had to transition. But here it's just like, 
oh, flashback, wait, wait, where, flashback, what, wait, where, you know, and my problems with Canary, well, she doesn't look like the Black Canary, I'm not saying nothing because she's black, I'm just saying, oh, Black Canary, I get it! I'm just saying, I have no problem with, you know, what do you call that? I can't think of the word. I have no problem with having people of different races portray characters, you know, but this is a specific character. This is Dinah Laurel Lance. She's got to be white. I'm sorry, after watching... A Laurel Lance on Arrow for almost eight seasons. Different variations. But still, I know that that person is Caucasian. She's white. This is not... They don't even... They don't even use her right. They say how, you know... Like, she's... You know, she's working for Sionis, or Black Mask. At the beginning of this. She's undercover for Montoya. And... She doesn't even use her powers till the end of the fucking movie. And it's just once to help Harley go after C Cassie. That's it. One time she uses her powers. It's like a superhero origin story where they don't put on a costume until the last ten minutes of the fucking movie. I hate that. In a movie called, Hus called Birds of Prey, where the Black Canary is one of your characters, you expect that she would use that power... Throughout most of the film. Because that's her thing. No. She doesn't use it till the last. 25 minutes of the movie. For God's sake. And it got to the point where I'm like. Okay they're just not going to have her have any powers. Even though they started hinting at it earlier. I'm like okay she doesn't have any powers. And then Montoya says. 25 minutes left on the, on the clock. It's time to use your power. I'm like. Oh no no no. No 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 don't. No. No! And she does it, and I'm like... <sighs> if you had just left her without powers, like, this could be before she got her powers. That's one thing. Because that would make sense, that she would... This is an origin story. Something that happened in the finale could have her get her powers. That would explain why she didn't use it throughout the film. But when she just uses it out of nowhere at the end of the film, you question... Why didn't she use that sooner? There was times she could have used that. Like, uh, when she had a fucking gun stuck to her head, and she just turned around and go, ah! And knocked the guy on his ass. It baffles me how they misuse these characters. All because Harley Quinn has to be the star. So no one else can actually do anything because Harley Quinn has to do it. Even when she uses her powers, it's to push Harley Quinn forward so she can get to Cassie. It's only to help Harley Quinn. I'm not saying anything bad about this. But this is not a Birds of Prey movie. This is a Harley Quinn with Birds of Prey characters. And like I said, at the end, Harley is narrating the end of the movie. And she says that Montoya quit a job. And she's working with the other two. And they call themselves the Birds of Prey. There you go, that's your origin story. They're background characters in their own fucking movie, for God's sake. The only thing I cared about was the egg sandwich that got smushed at the beginning of this movie. She gets an egg sandwich from a... from a store, and Montoya ends up getting it smushed, and she gets an egg sandwich later because of Cassie. I cared about. And Bruce, her hyena, who was supposedly killed during a, a bomb explosion, but he's still alive. He was wandering around Chinatown, I guess. She has this person who, li who works downstairs who's supposed to protect her, but then he, gets, he sells out for money. You know, uh, she sort of fucks herself over when she uh, she tries to tell people that she disconnected from the Joker, they won't believe her because she's wearing a thing. And then, I find it very stupid that you know, she blows up Ace, uh, Ace Chemicals, which is cool. And then, she drops her necklace on the outside as she's doing it. And Montoya finds it, she goes, Harley Quinn split from the Joker. I'm like, that's your hint? She's been going around saying that she split. And then even showing a flashback 
that someone already knew she split from the Joker. And it's back when she saw the necklace on. But yet, she said no one would believe her, even though I guess someone did believe her. I don't know. It's confusing. I don't hate this movie by any means. Don't get me wrong. I like the colors. I like the actresses. The, the acting is great. Like I said, Margot Robbie is excellent. The other characters are great, but I just think that they should have actually set out to make a Birds of Prey film. I'm having the same problems with this film as I do Joker, but not as bad. You know? And, 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 yeah, because the thing is, it's supposed to be a Joker film. What we got was not Joker. I'm sorry, but it's not. It's far from it. They, they, they set out it's calling this Birds of Prey, and it's Harley Quinn the movie. Just call it Harley Quinn the movie. You don't need to ruin characters just to make a movie about Harley Quinn. You know? Because the thing sets up that they're going to be crime fighting team. You know, the Birds of Prey, are we going to get another film just based on them? Probably not, because they if they make a Birds of Prey sequel... It's going to be about Harley Quinn because that's what worked the first time, right? We're never going to get an actual Birds of Prey film because now, if this one is a success, if this one, uh, if they actually, if they make a sequel, it's got to be a sequel to this and not an actual Birds of Prey film. Hell, the Birds of Prey TV series, which was totally different from this, and had different characters, was more faithful than this. And I'm not a big Birds of Prey fan. I've never seen the, t the original TV show. i never... I've seen that one, the pilot, which was alright. Harley Quinn was the villain in that. And it would have worked if she was actually the villain in this. But no, because she has to be the star, she has to be a protagonist. Look, it sounds like I'm bitching, and I kind of am, but here's the thing. I don't hate the movie. There's one thing I want to touch on, though, and that's the R rating. Why? Why was it necessary to make this rated R? The most you get is cussing. There's no nudity. There's a scene where Harley Quinn is walking through a police department and the sprinklers go off. But she's got her pink... That thing. Underneath her white shirt. So there's no nudity or anything. Just swearing. That's it. And if you take the swearing out, it could be PG-13. Because there's not even really any deaths, really. Because Harley Quinn shoots people with fucking uh, beanbags. And that doesn't kill. Because... Reasons. You guys, I... I thought this movie was okay. It's... It didn't disappoint me because I knew what I was getting when I bought it. And overall, I like it better than Joker. Uh, so I'm going I'm to go ahead I'm going to give it a 5. Because there are some things that I like about it. It's just, it's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a Birds of Prey movie. And it's Harley Quinn the movie. And, you know, that's why they, when they, re they remarketed it as Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. Because it wasn't, you know, getting stuff. So they had to remarket it as Harley Quinn Birds of Prey, to let you know, this is a Harley Quinn movie. Although, I bet they could have got more money if they just had it Birds of Prey without Harley Quinn. You know? I would have gone to see it. I didn't see it because I knew what I was going to get. It's a feminist movie. It's the same reason I didn't go see uh, Black Christmas. But I bought this because it's part of the DCEU. Because I'm going to do a ranking. Probably later tonight. Who knows? Just, uh... Yeah, a five. A five. So what are your guys' thoughts on Birds of Prey? Fabulous Emancipation with Harley Quinn. Or Harley Quinn, or whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. I've been Scotty. I'll see you in the next one.